sing hallelujah the lamb is overcome we sing hallelujah praise the lord everybody god is so good and truly the lord's mercy it endures until the end oh i came today to let somebody know who you are in christ and all of the benefits that we have received i'm going through the bible if you didn't see my video from yesterday hallelujah i would encourage you to do so today we're going to be talking about you have been made right with God. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians, um, the fifth chapter, I want to begin reading at verse 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he himself, who knew no sin, to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Hallelujah. I want you to know again that we have been made right with God. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for letting us know our position in Christ. Hallelujah. We have been made new. We have been released from the grip of sin. Hallelujah. Jesus has done it and I give you praise for it. Now, Lord, I pray your word go forth in clarity. I pray everyone that should hear the message would hear the message, God. May your people be edified and may you, my Lord, be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray and I ask these things in the the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I came today as an ambassador for Christ. Hallelujah. To let those know who may be on the opposite side. You may not have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I want you to know you're missing out on many blessings. You're missing out on a relationship with God. Uh, you're missing out on the many manifold blessings that God has given to us. And I'm not talking about houses and cars. I'm talking about peace. I'm talking about salvation. I'm talking about power hallelujah you need some power in this world that we are in today and God has surely given it to us he said over in the book of Acts you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you you'll be able to resist the enemy hallelujah when you have the Holy Spirit inside of you all the temptations of this world will mean nothing yeah they're gonna come but the Holy Spirit will give you the power to resist the Holy Spirit would give you the power to stand for for God. Uh, so if you have not given yourself to the Lord and haven't taken advantage of all of these many blessings, hallelujah, you just might need peace of mind. God will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. It'll guard your mind. It'll guard your heart. Hallelujah. You need that today. Hallelujah. So I would encourage you to get right with God. And how do you do that? You just accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Now to the other side, to those that have accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, I want you to know that we can celebrate today uh, that we have been made right with God. Uh, we have this relationship with the God, hallelujah, of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, uh, the, guy who, the God who declares uh, that he is the true and the living God. Uh, and beside him, him uh, there is none other the God that says he will never leave us nor forsake us uh, the God that said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world and if God be for us who can be against us? The God that lets us know that we can do all things through Christ, uh, who strengthens us. The God that let us know that no weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper. Every lying tongue that is risen against us, thou shalt condemn. The God that loves us. Uh, the God that says when the enemy comes in like a flood, uh, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard. Uh, the God that says uh, he loves us. Hallelujah. With an everlasting love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that 
whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The God that declares he goes away to prepare a place for us. Hallelujah. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the things that God has prepared for us. Hallelujah. A God that loves us so much. Do you know how much he loves you? Hallelujah. Do you know how much God cares? Hallelujah. Do you know how great the God that we serve is the God of the Bible that can do everything who spoke and it was who created just from you know speaking it into existence we serve a great God hallelujah we serve a God that has invited us to come behind the veil hallelujah Jesus our great high priest after he had risen from the dead he took care of it he became our great high priest hallelujah and now we sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus hallelujah and now we have an advocate. We have one, uh, hallelujah, on our behalf. His name is Jesus. Uh, oh, give God praise, hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise. Uh, he's worthy to higher. He's worthy to be exalted uh, above all others. We are a blessed people, hallelujah, with a God that can do anything, hallelujah. So, be encouraged today. Know again that we have been made right with God. Hallelujah. And with God on your side. He is greater than all. Hallelujah. And with your life in his hand, you can trust him. Hallelujah. He'll do you right. Hallelujah. So again, know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, hallelujah. Walk in the authority that God has given you. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. My videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.